Welcome back to 31 Days of Horrors. Today, we're in with Until Dawn. This is episode one of this playthrough series. I played this game in the past. Obviously, the original game. This is the remaster. And I'm so excited to play it. I know there's some things that are different from the original game. And obviously, the graphics, some story stuff, maybe added things. And new camera angles, all this stuff. So, prepare for this ride. And let's jump right into today's episode. All right, we're in. Let's see how different it is. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I don't remember much of the game, to be honest. I played it a while back, so, like, uh, yeah. I'm not going to be able to tell. Probably I'll be able to tell when scenes are different and new, but for the most part, I probably will be just, you know, <laughs> re reliving the, the game again as if I never played it. I am playing with the PlayStation 5 controller, by the way, on my PC, because it seems like the best option to play it. We'll move. We the no, don't move things in the fucking, um, what do you call it, the, um, the breath time events jesus i think i killed one or two people on that they were in a playthrough that i did obviously before i i used to the content creation so Jeez, Josh, once again, brother, you've outdone us all. <coughs> the snoring. <laughs> hey, Jesus. The models are top notch. Like, they look very much like the actors, I would say. Oh my god. Oh boy. Hey, I'm scared. <laughs> Hannah's been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. That's so fucked, man. That's so fucking fucked. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. My what dad the is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Ah, oh, Jesus. The mess, the mess. Thank you. 
Not the not the painted face. I was waiting for a fucking so dick to be run out of his face for a second. Does he have one? No. Just pick up. The, just take the beat. Just take the empty glass bottle. Put it somewhere else. Was this? Is this in the original game? I don't think so. Was it? When this wasn't the original game, to be honest. I don't remember playing this, but it's been a while, so. Am I supposed to be going out, or am I. Can I run? So far, the game is running pretty smoothly. I'm not going to jinx it, though. <clears throat> Locate the premonition. What the hell? Um... Can I... There. Uh. Death. Good to know. So am I supposed to go back inside? Oh, Jesus. For the love of God. Please, I just got here. I just got here. I think we're going back inside, right? There's nowhere else to go. I don't remember playing this. I think this is new for this version. Maybe I'm hallucinating. Someone let me know in the comments if, if you have played this game before. Maybe my mind is playing tricks on me, but I, don't, I think this is a new, uh, a new scene. Check the kitchen for stuff. Dear God, who the who the hell fuck is gonna clean? I'm stuck. Okay, here we go. Who in the hell is gonna clean this? Like, there's so much fucking dirt in here. Like, are we pigs? Am I go this way? Thank you for all the Han, it's been fun hanging out with you. No one gets me like you do. Come find me later. I'll be waiting, Mike. Nice. <clears throat> oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Oh boy. It's going down. Is it just me or the game has a lot of like empty stuff? Obviously, this is supposed to be very quiet, obviously. Like, I'm not saying this specifically. I'm just saying like as a whole right now. This is so mean in so many ways. That's cool. Ah, these people need help, man.
why, why? Like, just why? You know what I mean? Why? It's unnecessary. It's evil. It's mean. It's unnecessary. Like, like, look at this. That is beyond just fucked, bro. Glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out. Who? <laughs> <we'll> <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad for her, honestly. I don't, like, that's just... Like you all, you all deserve what's coming for you guys. Look at that! Like who, who, who takes a video of that? Out of hand. You guys are jerks. You know that, Hannah. Damn. Ma'am, please don't don't run out into the little fucking wilderness. Jesus. Josh. Josh. Oh come on, man. Let's just leave then. Bro is intoxicated. Now you give a shit? What's going on? Where's she going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It wow. Was just a prank, it was just a prank. What did you do? We're gonna film her having uh, sex with fucking Jesus. First time I played the game, I didn't feel better for most of the whole game, but this is kind of fucked. But yeah, I don't. She does not care about you, Mike. Prick. Everybody's a prick here, but. Oh, fuck, fucking hell. god damn it. I knew there was something coming and I still got fucking jump scared by it. Hannah. Can I run? Can't remember how you run in this game. Uh, okay. See footsteps and a tree has fallen. Nice. Oh Jesus! Okay, frame loss. There we go. <clears throat> it's day one with no patch. The game, so like, it's if you see some frame loss or like uh, stuttering. Oh fuck me. Oh, oh. Stop. Stop. Don't jump speaking to me, please. <laughs> Mac. These deers. Wildlife. Why? <laughs> Fucking wildlife, dude. Fucking wildlife. Alright, the Sam Raimi tilt, I guess. Oh, come on. Yep, just proceed to the door. Just proceed to the door, right? That's what anybody in their right mind would do. Oh, please, please, please.
Okay. Uh, safe. Safe, 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 safe. Or should I just come for the fast way? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't want to risk it from the beginning, bro. Uh, Footprints? I'm already questioning my life, dude. That's not good. Jesus. Fuck. Shit. I couldn't even see where the footprints were. Hannah, please. Oh no, brother. Hannah. Hannah. Hello? Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. This is such an idiot. I mean, it's all your fault, man. So These people are fucking pricks. Oh boy. Hannah. <clears throat> Run, bitch. Run! Oh! Jesus! Get up, get up, get up, get up! No, no, not the phone! Fuck! I remember this. <laughs> Oh, fuck. No oh, holding on, man. Two people dead. Or killed with someone else. Nice. Two dead. So many idiots. Nice. I should have let go hunt. I, I, I think I always have done that. I know what you did last year. Nice. Complete the prologue. Two people dead already. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. Thank you. We have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. Yes, unfortunately, yes. Well, no. I'm going to be excited about the game, I'm just saying. Like. Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary. Can it terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Oh, boy. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side. And tell me what's <sighs> It is also, quick thing, I knew that if you let go, obviously, sh I think she dies. Obviously, I think I can remember. I just didn't. I felt like I wanted to do the decision to see. Because I think every single time I've decided to let her go. So, just changing up a little bit so I can get a little different experience myself. Uh, it's a scarecrow, so. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. I think I was going for a therapy. Um, uneasy. Oh my god, the fucking resistance of this PS5 controller. What do you think it is that 
makes you feel uneasy? Um, the scarecrow? Well, I see. I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying <coughs> in there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. Uh, sure. <laughs> I don't know, man. Huh. I don't know. And what if I told you oh, that this cottage was haunted? Oh, uh, definitely be scared. Oh. All right, all right. I sense that you suffer from a significant fear of of the supernatural that's fair to say what lies beyond the veil of death is after all the ultimate unknown don't you agree and what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty sure brother sure <laughs> please remember this is only a game oh is it now well we seem to be out of time for this session <sighs> but we'll talk again. <laughs> Please pay me uh, four hundred dollars for this um, three-minute session that we had. Enjoy. <laughs> Not the humming to himself. I'm not this character. I remember the first time I played. Unsettling as hell, dude. Unsettling. Thank you. Most likely is. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Anne. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I got to say, I'm super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. To the same place that my sister's been missing. Um, nice. Let's, let's go. Let you know, uh, <laughs> let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me. I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means <clears throat> so much to me that we're doing this and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yep, you'll never, definitely yeah. never forget, for sure. If you come back from it. <laughs> Chapter one. Memento Mori. Ten hours until dawn. Blackwood Pines. We're back. It's a pleasure to be back here again. Jesus Christ, again with the fucking knife. Let's 
Sam, Hannah's best friend, diligent, considerate, brave. Hello? Another fucking deer. Let's go. That's not a deer, it's a person. All right, path to the cable car station. <clears throat> I'm gonna go up to the top. Because for some reason, you know, you have to hike to go into the fucking, um, the place that you're staying in, right? Solid. Also, is there a note on that? Yes, there is. Gates busted, climb over. Nice. Uh, what is this? Uh, okay. In the safe way, I'm not risking it early on, man. Jesus, I almost pressed the wrong button. It's like a training. Do you remember that I'm playing the PS5 controller? <laughs> I'm already my palms are already sweating. I, I the game I, I haven't even been playing for longer than 30 minutes, dude. Oh my god. It's 10 hours of this game, let's go. Nice. My name advice you. Now you have to deal with uh, rabies. The wildlife jump scares in this game are, from what I remember, something else. There's people in the butterfly prophecies. Death, black butterflies prophesize the dream there's death. Uh, danger, the red butterfly is warned of dangerous events. Loss, brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Guidance, yellow butterflies offer divisions to help and guide in fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. <clears throat> Tribes who once lived in this mountains believed that, that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicates the nature of the prophecy, obviously. And as I read all these. So, I mean, obviously they did build, like, they did build on top of, you know, ancient native grounds. Which I personally feel like is very disrespectful. <laughs> The past is beyond our control. Thank you. I appreciate it. Good to know. <clears throat> and all right. Dedication. Um, do I go to this car over here? So can I not run? I thought I could run. Oh, something here. Oh, I don't think I ever saw this when I came first here. You see? There. Guidance totem, okay. So follow the bird. If you see one. Good to know. Yeah, let's go to the drink car, let's go up to the fucking house. Also, I hope you're enjoying the 31 days of horrors at this point. We're um I think by the time this video comes out, uh I'm recording this on a Friday, but the video should come out on Tuesday on Saturday, sorry. So I hope you're enjoying so far, you know you the videos. <coughs> Uh-huh. Hello. What do we have here? 
phone, apparently. I'm snooping, man. I'm snooping, I don't care. Ashley. Who's this? Chris has a crush on Ashley. Loyal, protective humor. Sorry, I, I, I had to make that. <clears throat> Sorry, are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool, well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Damn, all right, dude. Why are you so fucking, like, pissy about it? Oh, so I what? found something kind of amazing. What is it now? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Oh, Where? My God. Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. Okay, I'll follow you, I guess. Never good to trust a white dude, but here we are. Alright. Warning! A Milgram Victor Milgram. Blackwood Pines. I seen in nineteen eighty eight. Wanted in connection with first degree Oh come on, this place is a band once a year. Nobody comes up here. Wanted in connection with the first degree arson offense, as well as various death threats. Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact the B P M C as soon as possible. Blackwood Proven Provincial Mounted Mounted Constabulary. Police Monte Provincial the the Blackwood. I don't speak um is that French? <clears throat> oui oui. Okay. Um Ta -da. The fuck is that? Pretty rad, right? Yeah. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh beauties is not the word that comes uh. to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing? Yeah, for real. Ski lodge? Uh dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Not Grizzly Adams. Uh no, you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right. Discount Grizzly. Oh boy. We should take this gun with us, man. Nice. Nice. I hail. Guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Uh, I don't think so, girl. I have secondhand embarrassment for this dude. Also, anybody in there <coughs> shoot a bottle that big, that close? I'm not shooting that. I ain't doing that, bro. Nope. Also, if you play the game on PC, uh, if you play your, the game on PC and you have a PS5 controller, highly recommend it. By the way, take that gun with us, man. No, give me back to her, not not this bo bozo. Coming back up here after a whole yeah, I wouldn't be coming back here after a year. Oh fuck! Cut, cut the fucking light. Doors locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that. What people? I I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Is it stuck? Jesus. Lock it. Pop it. <clears throat> All right. I thought the car was closer. I guess not. Guess we gotta wait. We can only get this. What a crazy place Fuck. to set up house. No matter how rich you are. I'm not rich. Well, tell. Yep. Yeah. 
Rich ass fuckers about a hotel and sanatorium. Because that's a good place to live at, right? I swear there's a camera pointing to the fucking. Oh, that car sounds like it's about to snap in half. That's fair. They're here. I'm right here, bro. I was gonna stay here and catch some zoos, but okay. Okay. Mm, just like going to the prom. Uh. Here we go. Hey, adventure begins. Uh, this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting. Everyone together in the I don't know, it seems like a bad idea. Specifically the same place that, you know, everything happened. Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen you so excited about something in forever. Oh, the game is switching. It's hard to tell with you, right? Kind of No, no, it was, it was a good idea. Everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. Oh, damn it. Uh, oh, yeah, let's just ignore the fact that the people are missing. Potentially, well, we know that we're dead, but. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kids sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in the room. The teacher made me move to the front. I was. Okay, so. Next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and we became friends to this day. Match made in heaven. Amazing, amazing day. Genius and Ellis hit puberty like three years early. That day, we decided to wear a low cut shirt that showed off the train bra. No, you could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or we're talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Um <laughs> nah, 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 we're, we're gonna talk about that. We're, we're gonna talk about that before we continue with this. What? <laughs> I can't. Okay, we're moving on. Jess, Mike's girlfriend, outgoing, driven, impulsive. Alrighty. Oh, jeez. I can't. Oh my goodness. You fucking. Are you guys having a really weird stroke? No, open the door, man. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Stay in there. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Thanks, Chris. Look, you got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah. No, whatever, man. Uh -huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Me, me, me. Don't be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Mike and M. Slitch were together. Whoa. Drama. Yep. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Since this what got people fucked up last year? Ah, bro. Alright. Alright, alright. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Oh. Uh, oh. I mean, you know, <clears throat> whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? 
Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. It's beautiful, beautiful view. Emily. Matt's girlfriend. I think it used to say like Mike's uh, Mike's ex or something like that. I'm pretty sure it used to say. Like, I guess like they should say that. Intelligent, resourceful, forthright. I don't think it would have been like this pretty. You know? Matt. Emily's boyfriend. Obliging. Dependable. Active. And where's the bellboy when you need one? A bellboy is a fucking cabin, not a bo Oh, Jesus. Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's going to be weird seeing everyone up here again. Yeah, sure will. I'm definitely not going to feel like a regular party. After you all made that... But what do you think? Oh, my God. Fuck me, I knew that I was there too. Mike, Jess's boyfriend, brave, driven, charismatic. And more like clown, driven, charismatic, I guess. <laughs> you guys. Michael. You guys. <laughs> you really, really see the two right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? Mm -hmm. No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Welcome to Woods. Yeah, that's what got Scooby two people killed last year. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. Oh, boy. Of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You wow. always get like this. Prick. Uh. Uh. I don't. Fuck me. I mean, I don't. Just saw oh, me, honestly. Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. Okay, I didn't mean to. Okay, that, that's not what not I meant to do, my guy. Again. Fuck me. We understand each other? Well, I thought maybe we could move past all this. Be buds, but yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just going to head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. Oh, boy. I got the message. It's kind of hot when you get all alpha. You know? Oh, fuck me. My Jesus. There's no such thing as an alpha, bro. Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Oh, uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. For real, just it's go over there. It's important, Matt, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll go. I'm not gonna argue. I don't want to make things already worse than they already are. It's so important, I guess I can pack horse with the rest of the way. Yep. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Ashley has a crush on Chris. Academic, inquisitive, sensitive. I think I'm gonna get jump scared in a minute. Oh. Any minute now. Hey. Oh, hello. Mm. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Hey, hey, <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, Might need to check the expiration date on that big fella. For real. Oh! <laughs> oh, hey, whoa. <sighs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to. Scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare you. Oh my gosh, oh my god. Hey, wow. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, damn. It's okay, it's fine. It's all fine. What are you looking at? <clears throat> juice with uh, Let me check it out. Uh, sure, go ahead. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Take a look. Go ahead. Um, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Oh, son of a bitch. 
Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? I love how I, I love I love what dude is like concerned about it and still is with her. Like I don't know. I mean, also, why the fuck are you with, like all everybody's just exchanging everybody? Nobody trusts each other, right? And then everybody just kind of dates each other out. Like what in the hell? <clears throat> Oh. oh! You did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. Oh, what the fuck? The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> hey! Ooh, right in the face. You know that? <clears throat> Where are you hiding, little chickadee? That what now? <clears throat> Ooh, right in the face. Hey! Whoop! <gasps> Don't you hit that. <clears throat> Oh my goodness. Oh! Got me. Fair enough. Okay. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. I'm not sure. I'm not hitting the bird. Oh my god, I got a room. Oh more. Oh, you're going down. Done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh I don't think so. I think you'd know so if I did. Alright, alright. My my. So are we calling it my favor then? You're worthy opponents, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. The snowball queen? I guess, sure, why not? <clears throat> it's like an easy. Like. <laughs> wow. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. Sure, sure. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breath. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever. Uh -huh. Making out with you the whole time. Right. Just making out? Quote, unquote. <coughs> well, right. I think we might freeze to death somewhere between those quotes. Damn, what got dark real fast, huh? Nice. Someone has had the cable car. Love it. There we go. Low again. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and how are we feeling? I'm good. Nobody died. So, that's good. In our last session, we established that you have a fear of things. That are supernatural. Dead or undead. Yeah. That would be a correct statement. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Hmm. Now pick up that book. Mm -hmm. Turn the pages. Mm -hmm. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Okay. Um, yeah, for sure. Honestly, crowds. Uh, drowning for sure. I can deal with heights a little bit more. I think. Oh, fuck. I mean, 
Snakes. I'm terrified of snakes. Um, honestly, damn. I mean, okay, the, okay, okay, okay. If someone's attacking me with a gun, I think I'll I'd be more scared of a gun. But as a whole, I, I honestly, I think guns. Let's just say guns. Oh, come on, dude. That's so fucking difficult. Oh, snakes. Oh, this, oh, fucking likes cockroaches, likes. What are you writing there? Oh, fuck me. Scarecrows, probably. Not clowns. That clown looks interesting. Gore. Of course not that scary. Gore. <coughs> Jesus! Sorry. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Mm. Don't be nervous. Alright. You're pregnant you know that. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Spiders over snakes, honestly, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Um. I don't fear needles. Go on the other hand. If you smack that desk again, we're gonna have problems. Huh. A scarecrows. I'm I'm not scared of storms per se. This is very interesting. <clears throat> Thank you. Answering so diligent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spiders, scarecrows, an awful. The sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but yep. <sighs> we'll talk again very soon. Another four hundred dollars on the fucking bucket, in the fucking drain, huh? Isn't that right, sir? Chapter two, darkness. Nine hours until dawn. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah, <clears throat> it feels the same to me. Josh, Hannah, and Beth's brother. Persistent, creative, playful. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm mm. getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey guys, get up here, okay? Yeah. Yeah, all good. Uh, more or less, but it was so good to see you. What's up with him? Oh, you know, so his new girlfriend. Fucking uh. Getting uh, all cuddly with that. Well, no, I just. I mean, they were just hugging. He's just fucking yo, yo, miserable yo. and. You get things moving up here. <clears throat> yeah, man. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sis. Stop. I just meant. To no, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it, and I just want to have. Say you're over it. It's kind of a weird thing to say, but sure, go ahead. Everybody deals with their own shit differently, I guess. Freaking thing. No oh, boy. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey. Not if I don't report you. Um All right. Lead the way, coaches. Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. Hey. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Mm hmm. 
All right. Gonna stop it here for today's episode because obviously I want to keep the episodes about like roughly 45 minutes to an hour. Um, I usually record for like an hour or so and then edits down to 45 minutes or so. So, but yeah, I'm gonna try to record another episode in the next like day or two. My goal is to have an episode each week, so it's not like too much, um, a lot of things, you know, like constantly kind of recording and like editing these videos. But if I can get another episode um, in the next couple days, I will. If not, I will see you again with this this game next week. But obviously, I'm posting every single day during this month, so I, there's another video coming tomorrow. So I'll see you all tomorrow with another video. Don't forget to subscribe, send notifications to all so you can notify when new videos go up every single day this month. And Comment down below. Let me know what you thought so far about this game and how you like it and what is your experience with the game and whatnot. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.